Y'all, it's three people coming for me full speed, like full speed coming for me. Uh, I take off running. Hey girl, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tasha, if you're new, and welcome back to another video. From the title down below, you already know, I'm back with another story time, and this story time is about how I got jumped and robbed on my birthday, y'all. Yes, on my birthday. Like, they literally could've did it any day out of the year, but they chose to do it on my birthday. But before I do begin the video, go ahead and pour you up some wine. Y'all know I love me some red wine, but your girl is on a 30 day cleanse, no liquor, no nothing. So yeah, we are drinking water with lemon and I got it in a little wine glass to make me feel like I'm doing a little something something. Y'all please disregard my voice. I'm trying to get over a cold right now. I feel terrible, but I did want to hop on here and give y'all the tea because I'm much in the voice because I already know it's giving grown men, it's giving somebody daddy. Like I sound really bad, but yes, y'all. Try happened back in high school, my ninth grade year. It was the day of my birthday. Like I was looking so cute on my birthday. Like I got my hair done. My mama did my hair. Y'all, this back when jawstring ponytails was popping. Like you couldn't tell me nothing with my jawstring ponytail. Like I literally had, you know, a little Chinese bang and then the rest of the hair was slicked up into a ponytail. If I got a picture, I'm gonna post it. So, yes, y'all, was looking so cute. And my birthday was on a Friday, and y'all know back then I had, like, my first job, and I got fired for eating an edible. If you have not watched that story time, go watch it. But that was kind of in that period or whatever. So it was that Friday or whatever, and I got paid. Like, you know, your girl was making a minimum wage and stuff. But uh, to a person back then who ain't have no bills, that was a lot of money. So back then I used to give my mama my check and then she would give me cash for it. So just cash the check and keep the check or whatever. So, you know, it was it was my birthday or whatever. I'm like, mom, give me some money for my check or whatever. It's my birthday. I'm going to buy me some food at the cafeteria for lunch. You know, the little L.A. cart. You can get little chicken sandwiches, the cookies and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I'm not about to eat no cafeteria food on my birthday. Not on my birthday, I'm not. My mom gives me the money, y'all. The first thing she do when she gives me the money, she's like, here go your little $200. Because, <laughs> you know, like, well, shit, I was only working Saturday and Sunday or whatever from open to close. So she like, here go your little $200. Don't be at school showing off your money, this, this, and that, or whatever. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, my ain't nobody about to be showing off no money. I just want to get me a little, you know, a little snacky snack for lunchtime. I want to eat good. It's my birthday. I don't want the cafeteria food. Give me the alley cart. So, so I get the money from my mama or whatever. I was the type of girl, I always used to wear a purse, y'all. Like, all the time. Like, even though, like, looking back now, it low-key made no sense because you already have a book bag on your back. So why are you having a purse on your shoulder too? Like you could just store everything in your book bag. But I was just one of them girls and still is one of them girls who always need a purse. Like I'm not going outside without a purse. It just don't feel right. So I had my little purse on my shoulder, my book bag on, jawstring, ponytail, Chinese bang, looking real cute on my birthday, y'all. Looking so cute. Literally could not tell me nothing. So the school bus come. I go ahead, sit in my seat. I used to sit in the same seat all the time. You know, the class clowns, the bullies, the popular people used to always sit in the back. So I was sitting my ass right in the middle. So I'm sitting on the bus or whatever. And this is guy, we had class together. We also went to middle school together. And then ninth grade year, we ended up going to the same high school. But my birthday's in January. So, you know, school starts in August. And my birthday's in January. So at this time, we're already like, you know, deep into the year and we're getting to know each other. And everybody knows each other and stuff like that. So this guy, y'all, he was so sweet in middle school. He was so sweet in middle school. But once we got to high school and he started hanging around other people, he was just acting weird, like joining gangs. Oh, I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube. Joining. Like, y'all, this nigga daddy was a pastor. Like, his name... His father got his name out of the Bible. Like, you sitting around here doing all, you know, joining and doing crazy stuff. Knowing, knowing your daddy. Knowing your daddy don't know about it. Acting, like, real different and changing because of the people who he was hanging around and stuff. So, I'm on the bus, y'all. This back when Yaga was in full effect. Like, Yaga was popping back then. Like, 
like boys will go around and y'all get your ponytail and like i said i have a jaw straight ponytail so y'all i don't know if he call himself flirting or what but mind you like his girlfriend sitting like literally right beside him in the seat so i don't know why he used to always be trying to mess with me that's probably why she ain't like me but that's definitely another story time for another day but yes y'all he come up behind me talking about some happy birthday tasha i'm like thank you how you know it's my birthday and he was like yeah you know we got each other on facebook this morning when i woke up it said it was your birthday and i was like oh thank you i appreciate it so I turn around, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, back up. Why are you so close to me? He was like, girl, ain't nobody worried about you or whatever. And so his girlfriend called him like, let's get him a name. I'll name him CB, CB for cornball. So his girlfriend calls him and tell him to go back to his seat or whatever. So he starts walking on the bus or whatever. And he goes back and sits beside her. So we get off the bus and I go straight to my first class. Mind you, like I said, me and him have, I think every... A good amount of classes together if not every class a good amount of classes together i would see him all day every day so in a classroom he sits like across from me mind you i told you that cb he was in a so the other guys inside of the all in class together so it was me cb and the rest of the so i'm sitting trying to focus do my work as a teacher announced happy birthday tasha this is and that because if it was your birthday they had like a little thing where they announced your birthday and stuff they announced my birthday everybody like happy birthday I asked to get up and I go to the bathroom. When I went to the bathroom, I don't know why, but I left my purse there. Today, me would never leave my purse nowhere. But back then, I ain't had no business about myself. I was young, like, yeah, real young. And I left my purse, like, you know, in, on top of my desk or whatever. Inside of my purse, I had a camera that I got for Chris, that I just got for Christmas. Because remind you, I told you my birthday in January, like two weeks after Christmas. So I literally just got this, this camera. So like I literally just got that camera. Like I had a camera in the purse. I had that two hundred dollars. I had that two hundred dollars that I, you know my mama just gave me for me giving her my check. I had some lip glosses. I had combs. I had brushes and stuff like that. I ain't had no wallet or nothing. I just had the two hundred dollars. You know like the little zip part compartment inside of your purse. I had the money inside of the compartment inside of my purse inside of the classroom after i'm done using the bathroom that's my purse was zipped when i came back my purse was unzipped my purse was unzipped so i'm like why is my purse unzipped so the first thing i do is check my purse like let me make sure everything is still inside of my purse my camera my 200 dollars, my lip gloss my combs my brushes and stuff like that let me make sure everything is in my purse so i check my purse and everything is still in my purse so i'm like that's weird that's suspicious. That's weird. Everything was literally still inside of my purse. So I didn't really stress it. Like I just went on about my day. So next class rolls around. All my classes were in the main building of the school. So my fourth period class, we had an overpass at my school and you could walk over the overpass if your class was on the other side of the school. So I'm late walking from um, my third period class because my third period class was gym and I had to change out and stuff like that. So I'm late walking from my third period class and I walk into my fourth period class. So I'm walking to my fourth period class. I'm walking on the overpass. If I have a picture of it, if I have a picture of it, uh, I probably try to Google it so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause y'all probably like, what the fuck she talking about? But I'ma um, try to Google a picture of the little overpass of my school. It's only me on the overpass because like I said, like I got out of gym class super late because I had to change back in. I had to take a shower and stuff like that. So I got out super late and everybody's already inside of their fourth period class. But I'm walking over the catwalk. It's just me on the catwalk. Normally the catwalk be super, super busy, but it was just me that day. So I'm walking on the overpass. It's just me on the overpass or whatever. All of a sudden, I hear loud footsteps. So I look behind me. Y'all, it's three people coming for me full speed. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So y'all, I take off running. Like, running super, super fast. Why are you running? Why are you running? People had them all black, y'all. Yes, yeah, all black. So I'm running. I'm running so fast, y'all. I'm the only person there. Mind you, it be police officers roaming around the school 24-7. Where the hell was y'all at when I needed y'all? Where were y'all at when I needed y'all? Where were you when 
and all the dogs need a help. Where were y'all at? I'm I'm trying to run. Notice I said trying because I ain't get too far, y'all. Overpath is blocked off, kind of like the sides of it are blocked off by like, you know, a little gate fence type thing or whatever. CB, y'all, mind you, when they was running up, they had on all black. Didn't have on no damn ski mask. Like, damn, if you want to rob me, at least do it right. <laughs> have class together. Why would you not have a ski mask on at least like if you gon' if you gonna do it, do it right. But at this point, they pushed me up against the fence. Y'all, when I say they like C B went full speed and backed me up against the fence, pushed me against the fence, and he had my arms held like this, like over my head like this. I told you like C B joined the when he got to high school. So the other two people who jumped me. So the other two people who were, you know, helping him or whatever was the guys that was in the class. People that were helping him was in the, also, hands up like this. He's standing in front of me, like looking at me or whatever. And then the other person has me like by my legs. And then the other person is searching my, like my purse and my pockets and stuff. The person who was up in my face that I could see physically was CB. So I'm like, CB, what the hell is you doing? He was like, bitch, shut up. This ain't CB. I'm like, CB, like I literally see your face and hear your voice like I know it's you stop playing with me like stop playing with me and the whole time like they that they're that they're doing this I'm thinking that they're playing because we literally have class together so why would you try to rob somebody that you have class with you don't think I'm a snitch because one thing about it I'm a saying like a fucking canary like mm -mm, I'm a snitch real bad I I'm not I'm not one of them snitches who be telling who be telling shit that they don't need to tell like you know like they be telling extra shit I ain't one of those snitches but I'm one of the snitches where if you doing some shit that you know you're not supposed to do and then I get brought into it. Oh, I'm a fucking snitch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, like, bro, I'm really a fucking snitch. But anyway, I, I honestly don't give a fuck. I don't care. And CB, stop playing with me like, stop playing with me like, this not funny or whatever. And he was like, B, I ain't joking. Next thing I know, CB, Push me to the ground. Like, I'm on the ground. They snatched my purse off of me. My purse was like a cheap little... The purse was very cheap, so it was so easy to break. Like, they pushed me on the ground, snatched my purse off of me. And yeah, like, they snatched my purse and all three of them ran. Mind you, I, what I had in my purse was my check that my mama just gave me money for. It was my little $200. My camera that I just got for Christmas. And some lip gloss and combs. So I'm like, oh, hell no. Like, you could have had, you know, if it was just the purse and it was just lip gloss and my combs in there. Okay, cool. You could have had that. But you literally got my little $200 check that, no, because it took me two weeks to get that. <laughs> it took me two weeks to get that little $200. And you think you about to keep it? No. So you know what I did, y'all? Hmm. I'm going to let y'all get Shirley did. I went to the principal's office and I snitched. I snitched on their ass real bad. And I don't even feel bad about it. Shit, they ain't feel bad about pushing me on the floor and bullying me and taking my purse and trying to yog on my ponytail. Like, no, y'all was not feeling bad about that. So, yeah, I did snitch. I went right to the principal's office. I went right to the principal's office. It was later in the day like it was i think like around two o'clock i think so i was like fuck the damn i was like fuck my last class i need my camera my 200 dollars, and my purse back or whatever so i went straight to the principal's office i'm in the principal's office they're asking me what's going on i'm panicking like i just got robbed they hit me they pushed me i just got robbed and they were like who did it we need names who did it this this and that as soon as they said it shit i started spilling I started spilling. I don't care. I'm a snitch. Call me what you want. I'm inside the office. I'm giving the names. I'm like, yeah. CB and his crew, they was on the catwalk. I was walking to my fourth period class. They were on the catwalk. And damn, yeah. They bullied me. They literally attacked me. Like, I'm on, I'm walking to my damn class. And they run up on me and push me and shit. So I told the, uh, so I told the principal that or whatever. So I told the principal that or whatever. And they're like, oh, we need a statement. We need a statement. I'm like, damn, now nah, I really feel like a snitch. I got to write a statement? Like, I'm like, damn, like, I was really feeling like a snitch because I'm like, damn, it's already bad enough. I'm snitching, but shit, I got to write a statement too? Like, <laughs> sitting writing a statement or whatever. By this time, the bell has already rang for us to get out of school, and they told me to just come back in the morning. 
told me to come back in the morning before my classes. So I got on the bus that day thinking that at least I would see CB because like I said, CB rode my bus. I get on the bus or whatever thinking I would see CB. Y'all, CB's not there. I don't know what they did with my little money. I don't know if they took my little $200 and was buying in or I don't know what they did with my little $200 and my camera. They probably pawned my damn camera, but yes y'all so i get on the bus i do not see cb so i'm like damn cb took the damn money and ran off like they literally stole from me like i don't know why but like the whole time when they was like you know pit pocketing me and like in like the whole time they was pit pocketing me and like had me pent up on a little catwalk and stuff i thought they were just playing with me because like in class they were like very playful they were like class clowns so i'm thinking they was just playing with me no y'all dead serious so I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I'm gonna stop talking about it. I'm gonna just come back in the morning. So I get home. So I get home. My mama like, how much of your money did you spend? Did you spend so far? I was like, yeah, I didn't spend nothing yet because my mama sat there and told me not to bring the whole two hundred dollars to school. She said only bring twenty dollars. And what the fuck did I do? Bring the whole thing. I'm like, I ain't really, I'm like, I ain't really spend no money like that or whatever. Next, and so next day roll around, I'm on the bus. I get on the bus. No signs of CB. His girlfriend's on the bus, but CB isn't on the bus. So I'm like, this is weird. This is strange. Because we all stay like kind of in the same neighborhood. CB girlfriend's on the bus, but he's not on the bus. So I'm like, where the hell is CB at? He better be in class today because I need my damn money. I get to school and I go to my first class just to let my teacher know what's going on. And then I go to the principal's office to follow up with, with what went down the day before with my damn money. So I'm in the principal's office. Y'all, guess who I see when I get in there? Guess who I see? CB. I see CB in his... So I guess my little statement that I wrote when I was snitching and singing like a damn canary, I guess the statement paid off. So when I walked in, y'all, they were mad as hell. Like, damn, I guess we all mad because you took my money. So damn, damn right, I'm mad. <laughs> so I get in there. They pull all of us inside of the room and talk to us together. Principal there, it was a deputy there. They pull all of us in a room to talk about the situation that happened the day before. So I'm telling my side of the story. They're telling their side of the story. They're talking about how they don't even know who I am. They they kept saying how they don't even know who I am. They didn't take a purse. They didn't rob me. This, this, and that. So what the deputy does, he asks me what time did all of this take place? And I told him the time and I told him the location. I ended up pulling up the cameras and seeing the whole little incident that happened the day before. The deputy and the principal, they are staring at the you know, CB and his crew. So that's what I'm gonna start calling him CB and his crew because I keep doing this looking crazy. Oh my God. But yes, y'all, they staring at CB and his crew like saying, you know, y'all didn't rob this girl and then be aggressive with her. But in this video, that's what it's showing that y'all did or whatever. Other guys like, well, we're charging you guys with aggravated assault, with theft, with, it was a whole bunch of charges they was trying to throw at them. I don't know what they were but they were trying to throw a whole bunch of charges at them and i was like no it's fine like, i don't have to do all that i just really want my money back and we can just put all this behind us like if i get my money my camera my combs and my lip gloss we could just throw all this behind us and it'd be perfectly fine so so the boys look at each other and they're like we already spent it and i'm like damn i knew they spent my shit like and i'm like damn i knew they spent my shit now i gotta go through the whole the whole little court thing we get in my little 200 dollars back y'all the deputy and the principal starts calling the kids start calling cb and his crew parents or whatever on the phone so they asked for my mom number to call my mom and i'm like no you don't need to call my mama because mind you like i said i didn't tell my mama about the situation so she knew nothing about it so y'all ended up calling my mama my mama found out or whatever story short behind that um, that you know this issue is going on we going to court about it and stuff like that we're in classes they ain't saying nothing to me i ain't saying nothing to them but keep in mind i told y'all that cb girlfriend rode my bus y'all after that whole situation where they ended up pressing charges and stuff like that y'all she was bullying me on the bus y'all like literally bullying me so bad like i'd be at school I'd be at schools. I, if I go to the bathroom, she'll follow me in the bathroom trying to fight me or something. She'll follow me in the bathroom trying to fight me or something. And mind you, she was a lot older than us. I think she was like two years older than us. And then she was one of them hood bitches. Like, 
like be out in the projects fighting and stuff like i ain't one of them like i i was fighting back then but i wasn't in the field like she was in the field like i was scared of her uh-uh hell no she could have it i forgot to tell y'all cb cb was in a but his girlfriend was in a two so you know she had people she had people and she kept saying she was going they was all going to get them to jump me and stuff like that and i'm like oh hell no mm -mm. won't jump me so yes yeah, y'all they was there um, bullying me on the bus they was bullying me i got off the bus one time she said she was going she said she was going to beat my ass off the bus y'all she had one of her friends pull up they ain't never do nothing though only because CB girlfriend was on probation, so I feel like she was just threatening me, trying to get me to be scared, and that shit worked. But he never do nothing. But eventually, CB girlfriend found out CB was cheating on her, and his girlfriend left me alone. I guess she didn't want to fight me no more after all that because it definitely died down, and her and her left me alone, y'all. I was so happy, <laughs> y'all. I was so happy, like they left me alone. Yes, y'all. The shit was just crazy. Long story short, I ended up getting back the $200. They kept lying and saying that they knew nothing of a camera that was in there and my lip gloss and my um and my combs and stuff like that. So with no proof of me having those items, they didn't have to pay for them, sadly. But yes, yeah, I tried to I tried to sue the motherfuckers for the $200, the cost of the camera, the cost of my combs, the cost of my lip gloss, and the cost of the purse. But it did not work. The only thing I got back was the $200. And I was so upset because, yeah, no damn camera. They probably pawned that shit. But yes, y'all, that's the end of my story. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this story. Do you think I was wrong for snitching? Also, comment down below what you would have done in this situation. And yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so that you could be notified every time I upload. Because if you're not watching, then what are you doing? What are you doing?